potty again. This is gonna look a little funky today because I am. I'm gonna try and keep up with all the chats. Let's see. My uh, Minecraft music needs to be turned down though because it's deafening. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I do want some Minecraft music in the background. I want to have that little bit of chill vibe going on because this morning I'm just gonna kind of lay back and we're just gonna play some games and answer some questions that people have been asking so if anybody's watching on Twitch um, it may look a little funny because I'm gonna be reaching up here once in a while you can see my hand right here once in a while because I have the my phone set up to also have it live on TikTok because I have more people who watch on TikTok than I do on Twitch so I like to keep my I like to get my viewers in on both so if you're watching on TikTok feel free to come and join us on Twitch because it'll look nicer and it'll be easier to interact with me <laughs> but basically I figured this morning we could do a little question and answer um, ask me anything while I just mess around in Minecraft because I am, uh, I'm trying to come up with some base ideas for this world, so I'm actually gonna hop in here, grab the seed, and then copy that shit and leave because I don't want to play that without my boyfriend, but I wanted to, god damn it, sorry, I hit the stand. Jesus Christ, apologies. I wanted to, um, I wanted to do some cool stuff for, I was messing around with it yesterday. I had a cute little base made. I want to do like a hobbit hole inspired thing because we have a dark forest that's nearby and like the mushroom forest would look really good with the hobbit hole design idea thing, so. Uh, okay. Where did we build the base in our survival? I think it's over here somewhere. Uh, yes, right over here. Our current base on our survival world is in the mountain right here. Just like a little tent base. But I want to build down here somewhere. Because I fucking love this area. There's also a super cool cave over there. But I really like the dark forest. It looks really pretty and I love the aesthetic of all the mushrooms and stuff. But I want to find... I, I have this image in my head and I can't really explain what it is that I want to do, but I know what I want to do. I'm thinking... Um, I'm so undecisive. Because I want it to be like, in a hill. What the fuck is going on over here? Jesus Christ. Um, I want it to be in a hill, but I want it to... Be on a hill that goes over land like right something like that like this spot right here would be perfect but i don't want it to be i don't want it to be on water i want it to be on land uh the lines on the screen are just from the refresh rate of the monitor it's not gonna be able to go away because <laughs> it's through a phone screen so it's gonna look a little not great if you come watch us on twitch you'll be able to have a much better experience of watching um, like I said earlier, I just like to do it live both on, um, TikTok and Twitch because most people know me from TikTok, not from Twitch, so. But feel free to come follow us and it'll look a lot nicer. We do, uh, streams, uh, like two times a week usually for now. I'm in college right now, so I don't have a whole lot of time to put into my Twitch and my YouTube channel, but I really, really want to start uh doing more with those because i really enjoy streaming because it gives me a great chance to interact with you guys like more live i guess also i apologize because the uh camera here actually you know what let me put you guys on my obs instead of my twitch because it'll be it's gonna be if I do that for you guys, then you won't have a delay. Because otherwise, 
my camera was delayed through Twitch, so now you guys will just have... Let me move that back down. Now you can see my OBS. Okay, um, this might work right here, maybe. This is a decent spot. Even, like, right here would work. I like the waterfall, too. Um, and it's got plenty of open space. I think I like this spot. And then it's not far from our other base, so I don't feel like I'm completely ditching the other base. But yeah, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Um, I want to... I want to do more with my Twitch and my YouTube. I really, really, really enjoy gaming, and I know a lot of my people on TikTok follow me for the dogs, which is totally fine. Like, don't get me wrong, I would also follow me for the dogs, not anything else. But I really want to start expanding my content into something more, something that I enjoy more. Not that I don't enjoy making stuff about the dogs for you guys, but I don't really leave the house all that often, and I don't have very much content for TikTok that you guys would be interested in, like, you know, public access videos and videos of people being Karens and stuff. Like, I just don't, I just don't have that. It doesn't happen very often, and I don't go out enough for it to happen more often. So, I just... I just don't really have it anymore and it happened a lot more when Mabel was younger because she was a puppy and everybody was like wants to pet the puppy but she is a lot older and she doesn't attract as much attention as she used to in public which is great um I think part of that too is because she has like a professional quote-unquote professional um look like her vest or her harness looks more on the professional side and she looks like she could be she looks like she's a golden even though she's not so she looks like she could be from a program even though she's not because if if those of you who don't know mabel is not a pure red she is not a golden retriever even though everybody thinks she is everybody thinks she's a white golden oh sorry i wasn't reading the chat i'm 21 years old i turned 22 this year in may actually so my birthday is coming up in a couple months here I'll be 22 on May 23rd, which is kind of crazy, and I am cannot even, that is so insane. <laughs> like, I can't believe I'm going to be that old already. The hell. I started, my f stitch started working for me when I was 18, I believe. So I've had a service dog for uh, almost four years now. Doesn't it feels like it's been longer than that, honestly. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get rid of this tree too. It's in my way. I would really the dark oak trees are fucking massive. Um, do I want to do it here? Or down here. I think down here would look nicer. But this tree needs- sorry, my ear itches. Okay. I think down here is going to be the best bet. So, what I had in mind... Uh, let's see. I hope I'm not missing any... Chat in... On Twitch. Hold on. Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, Alright, so I'm thinking... When I play Minecraft, I always end up making the same thing in terms of bases. So this is way different than what I would normally build. And I'm really excited because I... My problem with Minecraft is I always get overwhelmed and bored. Uh... I just, I kind of run out of things to do, even though there's plenty of things to do. But I just, my brain just doesn't work properly when I play Minecraft. I just want to be able to, I don't know, I don't know how to explain. Like, I just, I get bored. That's pretty much all there is to it. And I want to try, oh Jesus Christ, I want to try and stick with this more. Oh, I'm pressing buttons on my keyboard. Um, so I'm gonna try and spice things up so that way I don't get bored with it. And I think that I think that this will help. 
doing a completely different base than what I would normally do, I think will make things a little bit easier. Uh, let's do a spruce door. Is it on that block? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It can stay a stone for now, because I don't know what I want to do with the ground yet. Um... Okay, uh, let's do what I had originally been thinking. I want to do my block palette, like, a little bit different for each room that I'm going to be building. But the exterior, I think I want to do something like this. Okay, actually, I'm going to go in with this first, and then I'm going to add details later. I'll we'll do, like, a few of these to break up the texture. Uh, yes, I think that's what I want to do. Something like this. It may not look like much now, but I have an idea, I think. I think I have an idea. There might be a plan here. So, let me go like that. I'm going to come back later and add more dirt back around. I don't know if I love this spot. I wish it was a little deeper into the mountain. Actually, uh, yeah, I want to make this deeper into the mountain. I don't like how... I want it to be, like, a part of the hill. I don't want it to, like, rest on top of it. It doesn't look how I wanted it to look. Fix it, Felix! Okay, so I figured while I played I could talk a little bit about some of the things that people always ask me. So... Um... Some of my like frequently asked questions. Uh, a couple of things to start with my dogs. Uh, look through all my dogs. I have, for those of you who don't know, I have a corgi named Stitch. Um, this is all in my bio, so you probably know this already. But um, he was my first service dog. He retired after Mabel turned like a year oldish because I worked them in tandem while she was still in training. Oops. God damn it! I'm so sorry. I keep bumping that. Stay. Stay. I wanted to... Uh... Turn that off. There we go. Anyways, um... <clears throat> Stitch was my first service dog. Uh, he retired because I needed a bigger dog to do more mobility and guide work and stuff that he couldn't do so that's when mabel came along and my mom bought mabel from a backyard breeder yeah i know uh but this was a while ago um and she was supposed to be a family pet actually and i ended up doing a lot of her training when she was really little and I just kind of ended up taking her, which ended up working out anyways because I don't think my mom would have been able to handle such a big dog because she's freaking big. <laughs> like, I mean, she's not huge. She's, like, in comparison to bigger dogs, like a freaking Great Dane and stuff, but she's still a big dog. And I don't think my family would have been able to take care of her. But, yeah, she was supposed to be the family pet, and then I ended up taking over most of her training um, from a young age and she just was doing so good that I was like, yep, you're gonna be my new service dog. So when she was about nine weeks old, we started doing our service dog training with her and she did amazing. This is taller than I had anticipated it. I swear to god it wasn't this tall before. What did I do differently here? I made something similar to this yesterday. Um, it's not... Oh wait, I think that's why. 
Maybe because it's taller. Genius. Um. But yeah, uh, that's how I ended up with Mabel as a service dog. And like I said, she wasn't ever supposed to be one, but she was just so good at it that we were like, she's gonna be a service dog. And I've had her... And she was in training. Well, technically she's still in training because there's some things that I want her to be better at. I... Sorry, I was reading chat. Um, there's been some things that I've been struggling with her lately, and this is something that I haven't talked about yet at all. Uh, but it's something that needs to be addressed. She's been having some problems with uh, whining at other dogs in public, which is a hard no. Uh, and I absolutely do not like. <clears throat> like, it's not disruptive. It's not obnoxious. It's just, like, a little bit of a whine. Sh like, because she's, she's excitement reactive, but not, like, excitement reactive as in, like, exploding reactivity, like, going crazy. She just whines and cries a little bit and is, like, why can't we play, you know? Because she just loves other dogs. <laughs> so it's something that we need to work on. Hello, hello, everybody. And it's something that I plan on working on. Um, but that's just one of those things where it's like, you know, you see us on social media and everything seems really great, but the reality is it's not. I've been struggling with her for a while with this stuff, and I've even had the thought in the back of my head of washing her because she's just been she's just been awful lately like honestly it's been driving me nuts and the little things that she's doing is just stuff that is absolutely not okay in my for for my service jobs like other people can be more lenient if they want but she's been getting easily distracted and distracted by other dogs and it's just I think part of the problem was that I stopped using the prong collar on her because she was just doing really good in her training and I wanted to see how she would do on positive only because I thought she would be able to handle it. I really did think she was going to be able to do it because she was doing amazing and apparently she could not handle it because she just, it was, she just did, ter she's been doing terrible and... <laughs> It makes me sad because I don't, again, nothing against prongs or anything like that. I always use a prong, I always used a prong on Mabel and like absolutely no shade to people who use them. I just would like to be able to work her without one, if that makes sense. Um, so I tried having her off a prong for a couple months now and this is when these problems started to arise. So I decided to put her back on the prong to see if that would improve anything um, and she's been back on the prong for about a week or two now and I haven't really been doing a whole lot we haven't really been leaving the house or going anywhere because it's freaking cold and we've had a lot of snow lately here but she's been doing better so you know all hope is not lost I I'm still thinking about what would be most beneficial for her in terms of her happiness and if washing is going to be the answer to that, then washing is going to be the answer to that, you know? I want her to be happy and that's all that really matters because I don't want her working if she's miserable. But <clears throat> as of now, we're okay and we will see, we will see what happens from here. Okay. Like I had said, I I don't want to work her if she what the fuck. I don't want to work her if she doesn't want to work. <clears throat> what am I doing? Oh god. There we go. That's what I wanted. I got uh, Yes. I think how do I wanna do this? I don't know, man, I'm so indecisive. I hate building roofs because I just, I, eh. <laughs> yeah, that was a good explanation. Uh, like that. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. That'll look good. And then we'll do the other one on the outside. 
but yeah, I um I want to I want to fix things with her. I love I love Mabel, but I want her to be happy as well. So if she isn't happy working, then she's not going to be working anymore. And I can't really I don't really know if it's going to I don't really know. The future will tell, I guess. I can't I can't really say if it's gonna be good or bad yet. I can't get this freaking block in. Sorry, I like, when I play games, my brain fucking wanders, so I'll talk about random ass shit because I'm focused on what I'm doing in the game. I also have no idea what I'm saying half the time. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> like, what have we been talking about? We've been talking about Mabel. That's about all I remember. <laughs> oh, man. Um, here we go. That's kind of the look I was going for. This looks bad right now, but I promise it's going to improve shortly. I have some ideas. Um, gotta whoop out, whoop out, whip out the dark oak. Alright. How did I do this the other day? Um, it's so annoying. Um, I want to... I don't know what I want. <laughs> um... Hang on one second, let me... Where did that picture go that I had? Oh my god, I'm really miserable. Here it is. Wait, that's not the picture that I had up. This one. This is the one that I took the roof idea off of. Here we go, okay. Because I want that to be... Well, at that point, then... Let's... Ah! Oh, I can't even put that there. I don't... like that. I don't... I don't like it. Uh, can I... Can I do something with this? There we go. Mm, that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Like that, please, thank you. Yeah. Okay, and then this is the part that I was struggling with yesterday too, is I wanted this to be Although I'll just cover that, so let's just yeah. yeah. Let's let's do this. Which nobody will ever know. I will fix it. I promise. It's gonna look better. I just need. I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna put you there instead. Uh... And then I'm gonna go like that. And then no. And then do a little bit of this maybe. And that. No, it's too harsh. Uh if I just do it like this. So I wanna cover up the Empty spaces. Oops, let me go with that. And then now hit that like that. I think this needs one here. Yes, there we go. That's what it was missing. Um. 
I want to do... I actually think it looks better without that one there. Hello, hello to everybody saying hi. I also... Oh, whatever. If you guys are interested in, or if you guys have any questions that you want to ask about me or the dogs or honestly just anything, <laughs> feel free. This is going to be a very chill session. I'm just gonna work on my build and hang out with you guys and we can sit and chat about whatever it is you guys want to chat about. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I really like that it like just touched the waterfall. That worked out really nicely. There and there. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> also, if you're wondering, I am just messing around in this world right now. I am actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this down by one because I don't want it there. There we go. Otherwise, my window was gonna have to be two, and I didn't want it to be two. I'm just messing around in this because. Uh, this is the same seed that my boyfriend and I have a world on right now, so I'm just working on some ideas in terms of what to build for our home base. But yeah, if you guys are following me on TikTok, please feel free to come check us out on YouTube and on Twitch because I am trying to become more active on all of my, um... On all of my social medias i'm not super like I, I post stuff on tiktok but i don't post that much stuff on tiktok and uh, if you were here earlier i was talking about there there is a reason for that it's because i just don't have content to post on tiktok and i don't want to post just like public access videos and like karens and stuff because it's not what it's not who I am it's not what I um, what I want my channel to be about like I don't want my channel to be something negative like I, I don't want my TikTok page I don't want people to come to my TikTok page and be like oh man this is not a great place to come like this is it's all negative here and I just don't want to have that image because that's not really who I am I like to focus on the positives more and it actually turned out pretty good this is kind of I know what I was going for. Can I place it? No. Okay. I'll just do it like this then. There's some little shutters. And add a couple of details here on the outside. <clears throat> um. I think that's probably good for the exterior. I need like a probably a lantern. I am gonna do the decoration outside before I do anything on the inside though. Can I put one here? No. How about here? That works. Ta-da! Okay, that looks decent. Um, I have my dogs doing stuff in the background. I can't see them though. Anyways. <clears throat> okay, so I want... I'm gonna go into here and grab a few of this. These things I want. Where is... I hate the way that they organize the new Minecraft menu. I do not like it. There we go. Cause like, why is mossy cobblestone in building blocks? It's a natural block. I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna start by getting rid of all this stone. I know this is supposed to be asking me things, but I have a question for you guys. Um, if I do a let's play on 
YouTube of a game, what game would you guys like to see? And I have a decent amount of games. I was thinking maybe like a Minecraft Let's Play or a Sims 3 Let's Play or like some sort of challenge in one of those. I noticed in the newer versions of Minecraft, you can turn on this rule in Minecraft where you can only craft with something if you have the recipe for it or you can only craft something if you have the recipe for it and i thought that would be a really fun challenge to do a like a hardcore playthrough of that because i think that'd be really fun because like i oh, the crafting guide's not in here i fucking hate the crafting guide <laughs> it's useless it doesn't help whatsoever so i figured that would be a, a interesting challenge to try and do i don't know why i fucking eh. there whatever but i thought that would be kind of fun and i've seen those 100 day videos have been very popular on youtube lately so i thought it would be a fun thing to try and do Because I love how console looks, and I want I want to have like a, a a sort of magical aesthetic feel to this book. Like I want I want to have like a mystical, foresty feel to it, and I feel like these blocks work really well. That's also the other reason I love building in the dark oak areas because the grass is so dark green. Like, it's just so pretty. I also really like building in snowy biomes. I like making little log cabins and stuff. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Okay. And I did want to add a little bit of gravel, not gravel, cobblestone into the walkway. I need another piece of grass in here somewhere. There we go. Then I can do this. Give a nice little, little feel. Little fake rocks. That would be cute. Okay. Uh, sure. I want to add something else to this grass out here, but I don't know what. So we're going to take some decorative items. I don't know if I'm going to be able to place any mushrooms here, actually. It's probably- oh! Oh, you can place it anywhere on Potsil! That's right! Well, that helps. Okay, um... What I want to do... You three, I need you, and then... Oh, no. I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do this. Put the red one up there. But what if I do. I definitely want one above it. It's like here. I miss Mindplex speed builders. <laughs> this made me think of that. Oh shit, what the hell? There we go. A little mushroom there. And maybe... Let's get rid of you. I'm gonna have to do a lot of clearing out forests over here. Because these are so annoying. That's the only negative thing about building in Dark Oak. Is how dense they are. So much to get rid of. Because I wanted to do a mushroom over here. Is there one in my head? No, it's too tall. It's too far. I think so. And then down. I don't. I've never built with mushrooms, so I don't know how it works. <laughs> If 
I do that? Okay. See, like, I don't know what's going on inside there. I've never, I don't know. I don't know how it works. There we go. Do a little mushroom. Okay. And then I want to do some of the flowers that are native to the area, which would be lilacs. Peonies can also spawn in dark oak forest, as well as one of my favorite, well, my favorite flower in the game, which is Lily of the Valleys. Um, roses also spawn in dark oak, and dandelions and poppies, but I don't really want those ones here. We're gonna just throw down a few flowers to give a nice little feel to it. I wanna do some stuff up here too. So add a few things up above. There we go. It's really starting to take shape. Okay. Uh, let's add a couple mushrooms around. You know, I'm gonna have to take some god damn it. I'm gonna have to take some of you and bring you up here. need to be able to place the mushrooms up here. Okay. That's probably good. Doesn't need to be perfect. Um, this is just a, a build for me to mess around with and kind of figure out what I want to do. We'll add some Lily of the Valleys in. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> That's super cute. This is... The only thing I don't like is the mushroom, to be honest. I don't like where it is. I want it to be down here, but it's too big. I wonder if I can make a smaller version of it. Let's compact you down a bit. Mm, what if I go like... What if I just do something like this? That works. I don't like how thick the stem is, but... Whatever. Let's add a little brown one down here too, then. Just gonna need that. For the love of god, I can't. There. Okay, actually, that's pretty freaking cute. Uh, let's do a bigger scaled one up here, then. Wait, no. Because I'm gonna put my... I want my, uh... Chimney to go over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might forget how loud my keyboard is, so... <laughs> you're gonna get lots of clickies during this. I love my keyboard it's very pretty i would show you guys but i would have to move my phone off of my stand and that would be a pain in the ass okay i think that's probably good for the exterior and i really like the little waterfall coming down that's super cute i actually really like this area because, yeah, in the survival world, our base is, like, right next to this waterfall. So it would be kind of appropriate to have it go from that waterfall down to this one. And this is so freaking cute. I'm going to have to do a lot of work with clearing out some of this area, though, in survival. Because I think I'm probably going to end up deforesting, like, this whole area here. So I have some plains or some flatland to work with for other things. Because I'm also going to need to build, like, a farm and all that good shit, so. But yeah, I think this is, I think this is good. The interior is where I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh, I didn't add a window. This build would look really cute with some fences as windows. But also maybe a trap door. An oak trap door. Mm. Let me see what a fence looks like. Uh, spruce fence. 
Yeah. We're gonna do fences. That looks the best. Here we go. <clears throat> and then I want to add the chimney over here somewhere. Let's do... Well, actually... I'm gonna work on the interior first before I do a... Oops. Before I do a chimney, I'm gonna do the interior because I like to put the chimney above either the oven or a fireplace. But I don't know what I'm gonna do for this yet. I don't know what I want to do with this yet. I also don't really want... Oh, what do I want my walls to be? The mushroom would look good. The walls. That would be kind of cute. I don't really want them to be sandstone. I want that to be the exterior. Well... I don't know. Or we could do... Birch would look good. Birch looks nice with that too. Do we even have a birch forest? Oh, there's birch right there. I th think there was a birch forest somewhere over there. Or is that just a regular forest? I don't know, I can't tell. No, no, that's definitely a birch forest. Okay, so there's tons of birch if I need it. The nice thing about this seed is that there's almost every single biome in a really small area. So we have jungle, bamboo, dark forest, we have mountains. Um, there is a savanna in that direction. Then we have like the spruce snow stuff that way. There's a birch forest over there. There is also a taiga over there. Um, oh, there's the rest of the birch forest. There's a desert past the savanna in that direction, so we have almost everything that we could possibly need, which is great. I really like this seed. I found it on Reddit. <clears throat> and we are playing in the latest snapshot, so we have some of the new items from 120, including the, uh, the freaking the new way to get netherite, like the armor trimmings and stuff. So stupid. I hate it. Uh, oh wait, no, I have to have it like this, don't I? At least for this room, because the windows are here. Yeah. So we'll do this, I guess. At least for this area, we can do it like this. I don't, don't want to have it even, so that's it, right? Yeah, okay. I just want to do... I would like to make a different theme for each room. So like a different a different block palette. I want to have something different for every room. But in here can be like our main entrance. We can have like a little kitchen in here. That kind of stuff. <clears throat> actually ended up a little bit bigger than I had intended, which isn't bad. It'll work. I might end up making it slightly smaller scale in the survival world. We will see. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this, though. Why don't we... Or I could just replicate the exterior. That wouldn't be too bad. Excuse me. Like that. That'll work. I'm gonna add some of the depth into here. <clears throat> there. Do I like that? I can't tell if I like that. Do we like that? Do we like the door and the inside being the same? I don't know. I'm so indecisive. I gotta check my, uh, oops, I just closed my game on accident. I wanted to check my Twitch stream to see if anybody commented anything. No? Okay. Okay. Um, I also gotta figure out what I want to do for the floor. I think, I think dark oak would look nice. I like the, because I want to go for like a dark 
foresty, mythical creature, little witch living in her hut sort of thing, a hobbit hole. Like, I want things to be hidden and secretive. So I feel like a dark floor would look good. What we're gonna do for the ceiling, I have no idea. too fast. There we go. I hate that it's not centered. Why? Why is it not centered? Oh no. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, kill the fire. Oh, that's so upsetting. <laughs> Man, oh, I don't even know how to fix that. Oh, man, what if I did? I'd have to expand this by two. Well, actually, you know what? That works. That doesn't look too bad at all. I'm gonna add some texture in here. I don't know if I didn't, or... I don't want that there. I don't want that there. Uh... Yeah, that'll, that, that'll be fine. I want... I just hated the fact that it was not even... Okay. Technically, I could even do that, and it would still be even. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what happened here? Hold on. Oh, that was- oh, I'm just dumb. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I was like, something's not right. <laughs> okay, that works. Okay. I can work with that. Let's see. Ceiling. What are we gonna do with you? Hmm. That's a good complimentary block for this stuff. I don't want to do mushrooms because I like the mushroom feel, but I don't want to do too much of it. Maybe... Mm... Birch would work, work for it, but I don't... I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I'm so excited for the cherry blossom stuff. It's going to be so cute. Mm. What have we got in here? Let's see. Let's just see. Let's see how this would look. Because the only problem with this is I'm going to have to do something different in the survival because I don't... Can you make these? Can you craft mushroom blocks? I'm not sure. Do we like that? Let's do some of this over here so we can get some different... Oops. I want to see what it looks like. What different designs look like. We'll do that and then we'll do like... Do like a birch over here. I don't know which one would be better. Uh. Uh. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What do we think? I don't think I can craft this. <sighs> Sorry. Just woke up a little bit ago. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I can craft the mushroom stem. I think I'd have to have silk touch to go get it. And there's not very many. 
in here and I don't really want to destroy all of the mushrooms because it fits it adds to the aesthetic. Um Ma'am, I don't know. The lighter the lighter tops make it look bigger. It makes it feel like it's not so short. What if we do... What other sandstone items do we have? Anything? Red sandstone. That's fucking orange. Uh, I don't know. I think I like the birch. Let me... Oops. God damn it. Let me do this quick to see if planks looks better or not. I don't think it will. Just because planks are cheaper. Uh. I also wonder what if we do like one of these? Does it look better smoother or grid? A. Oh man, there's way too many options here. I I need input, guys. I have no idea. I can't decide which one I like best. We have the stripped planks that are going straight, and then we have the stripped planks like on a grid pattern. Planks, and then... Did I say planks? I meant logs. And then... The mushroom stems, which... I don't think is gonna work. Oh, look at that. We can even do something like this. Oops. God. <laughs> Good lord. That looks kind of cool. Actually, that looks really cool. Because it looks like the bottom of a mushroom. And I could do that with the brown ones, too. Because it works the same, I think. Yeah. I mean, it'll be a pain in the ass to do, but it looks cool. And I can use any of the mushroom blocks to get that uh, effect. I go like this. See? I just gotta place another one next to it and it turns it into that block. So it'll be it'll be a lot of work in survival, but it'll look cool. The only issue I have over here is I wanted to make this stairs so it has a gradual gradu more gradual fall. I can't English. Uh what kind of stairs do we have? That might help. Mm. Yeah, honestly, for ease, I'm just gonna do the birch because it'll be easier to do in survival. And I'm gonna... Uh... I wish I could- I wish there was more stair options. Like, I want, like, this, but in stair form, you know? What about... slabs? Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of options. Which is disappointing. Oh, it's raining! Heck yeah, that made this so much better. Now it's raining, too. I love the aesthetic of rain in Minecraft. It makes my brain happy. Or I could do stripes, that would work too. Something like that. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's do that one. That's my favorite so far. Finally, I found something I like. Finding the right block palette can be so freaking hard. And this is why I like to do some of my builds in creative first, so I get an idea of what works and what doesn't. Because 
if you're building this and like if you had to do what I just did, where you took it apart several oh, where you took it apart several times and then ended up with something that you like, it's such a pain in the ass. Like it's just nicer to be able to build it in creative and be like, yes, this works together, or like this doesn't work together, so you can easily take it apart and rebuild it. And then once you find something you like, you put that in your survival. You build it in survival because it's just Doing that is so much easier. Technically, I don't even need to make this. Let's save on wood here. This will just be dirt. Nice. Can I do that over here? I know it doesn't matter because I'm in creative, but sometimes I like to come back into my worlds and kind of look at them block for block to get a... You know what? Actually, I love that. That is super cute. Okay. Um... I am happy with that. Now, the next question is, what are we going to do for the walls? Huh. I wonder... I wonder how red sandstone would look like this, with this design. Oh, there's also a mesa nearby, so getting terracotta would be really easy. So I also can keep that in mind. Um, I kind of like it as the red mushroom, to be honest. I also don't know what I'm going to do here yet. Um, I gotta think about the interior a little bit first before I decide on this, because I gotta figure out how I'm going to lay this out. Because I want... One of these is going to be like a kitchen. Like, one of these sides is going to be the kitchen. And then... I'm probably going to build... Unless I want to connect everything. Like, have one... Like, just push this back a few blocks. Like, five blocks. And then have that big open area as the... house and then just like break it up with walls on the inside or do I want to do like tunnels that go off into other areas um let me look at a couple pictures quick before we keep going so I can get some inspiration let me see I think I know what I want to do, I think. I think I want to go for... How far am I to the surface right now? That's another question that I need to be asking myself. Okay, I gotta... Oh, that's just that spot though. I don't have a whole lot of space up here. Because I was looking at this picture. I can't show you guys. I was looking at... Oh, wait. Yes, again. Yeah, yeah, get up there. I was looking at this picture. I really like the bed being in a little loft. But... But my house isn't tall enough for that. I got a short little house. Um, let me look at a couple more pictures. My packages. I mean, honestly, like something compact would be totally fine. What about if I look up underground base interior? I just want to get some ideas here. These are a little big. Not really what I had in mind. Um. Okay. What about 
Oops. Oh, well, this person has a fox inside of their house. I need a fox. He's cute. He's not looking. None of these are really what I'm thinking, to be honest. Not really the aesthetic I was going for. It looks nice, but it's just not what I want to do. Well, let's start with... Let's... I can make a hallway that just goes straight this way, you know, here, I'm just gonna just pretend that that's a wall. Uh, and I have this area to work with for, like, the kitchen and stuff, and then this could be, like, a living area, a little comfy, cozy area. And then this could be the hall. Oh, actually, it could be more like the floor level of all things holy. Something like that actually could be the walkway. And then go down the hallway. Yeah, let's do that. I could do opposites, that would be kind of cute. Like have one be brown mushrooms and one be red. Something like that. That's kind of cute. Let's do that, because then we have the aesthetic of both. Uh, I'm gonna clear my inventory. And let's see. Do I want that to be sandstone, though? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, let's start decorating like the kitchen area. I'm gonna do. A smoker. Do we want to do a? Uh, oh man! I was hoping this would be even by three. I could expand it by one. That would be the worst. Or I could make it smaller by one. So I wanted to have a little, a little uh, fire, little fire area. The hell is the word? Help me. Um, the fireplace. Jesus. I wanted to have a little fireplace. And I could use terracotta for that too. Can I expand it or make it smaller? Make it smaller. for the chimney. Not really quite where I want it. It's too far back. So... I guess it wouldn't matter then anyways. We'll just skip out on the fireplace. We'll do... We'll do a smoker here. And then that'll be where the... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and let's make the make the fireplace out of mushrooms because that would be cute. I'm gonna have to go Mr. Flower. I need spruce. I can't. I'm gonna have to replace that because it's gonna do that.
Is it too much? Maybe not sandstone. Maybe spruce. So goddamn indecisive with this stuff. Anyways, um, not camo. This doesn't go out in the water, does it? In the rain? Yeah. Yeah. There. That's cute. And it's right above the smoker. See how that looks on the outside. So I want to do. I want to do a little. Um, yeah, I wish I could make that one taller though. But if I make it like that, it just looks like a slab. Aesthetic of having the goddamn it, like the little thing. That's fine. That works. Let's look at the outside again. I want to see how that looks. Do I don't like it. I don't like that. Maybe we should do this then. Skeleton skewered me. Something like that. I can make it one shorter. It's a little tall. I just do this. So I don't want to replace the thing. Except for whatever that is, but okay, it's not working exactly how I want, but that's good enough. <clears throat> ah, let me in. Uh, okay, now what do we want to do for our countertop? Polishing and say, oh, this looks good. Okay, maybe it doesn't look good. It does not fit the aesthetic at all. What about spruce? Sure, that works. Then I can make the barrels work with it too. Let's do crafting table in the corner here. Oops, 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 oh my god. No, I don't want that. Uh, I'm gonna do like a little. I want a sink. Do a cauldron. <gasps> oh my god, that was so loud! The Enderman scared the fuck out of me. I forget you guys can't hear my audio on TikTok, but good lord, that was obnoxious. <laughs> It's raining right now, so he, like, teleported. It was so fucking loud. What am I looking for? A tripwire hook. Jesus Christ. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I was thinking. Maybe put another one or two over here. No. One. One is good. 
I can even do that. I can do that. Oh, too close to the oven. I don't like that. The oven. Alright. I could get rid of this, but I don't want to. We need some light in here. Let's take out a lantern. Get some light in here. We also need some light here. Yeah, okay. And then we'll grab some of the decorative stuff. And the flower pot. Jesus. Lightning is crazy. We need the valleys because they're my favorite flower and they are native to this area, so it's perfect. Yes. Something like that. I think that works. And then like a little kitchen table here. Uh, spruce or oak? Maybe oak for the furniture. And we could put... We'll just say it. We'll just put cake down there. Boop. Cake is a lie. Um, or I'm looking at some other ideas for some like kitchen, or kitchen table. No, that works. I like that. I wish. Check a bit of painting here, but it wouldn't really work. No. Okay, so there's the kitchen. No, I wish I could add something else to it. It's not really... It's not bad. I just wish... I, I don't know. It's missing something. But I just don't know what that something is. Hm. I don't know. I am going to do... No, I didn't like that. I wanted the flower pot. I'm gonna do one of these ones, though. I wonder how this would work. I haven't really done a whole lot of it, but... I want a bamboo piece. Okay. So if you do this, then we can make it look like it has a little stem. You can also do that with a dead bush. So it looks like it has a stick. Now it looks like a little bush. I'm curious how this would look. Um, you know, I like the azaleas better. I like the azaleas a lot. I just figured this corner needed something. It's too tall. Oh god, I heard something on fire and I started panicking and then I was like, oh wait, <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. No, I want a painting here. It would look so nice. Paintings. One by one. What other sizes? One by two. Two by one. What does that mean? Oh, those ones. Gotcha. It's cool that they actually separate these now. Makes it a lot easier to use. Uh, I don't know. This is so annoying. This wall needs something, but I don't know. No. Like, would a one. That's not what I was going for. I was thinking like a one by one painting, not a one by two painting. See, because that just looks funny because it's touching the table. Ah. I don't like it. Um. What about an item frame? Didn't they make like a glass item frame or something? Is that not a thing that... Uh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Whatever. We'll just put a freaking cake down and it's fine. I'm being too picky. It's good enough. Uh, okay. Over here, I want to do... 
I want to do Invo TV. So we're going to throw some glowstone down. And then we're going to do take a painting. And we're going to do something like that. Oh, something like that. Bitch. That just looks like a windowsill. I want to like a... There. That'll be our TV. And then I'm going to take some of you. Boom. Boom. Like that. And then back here. Actually, I might push this back one more. Oh, for the love. And then add a little chair there. And I'm going to take some uh, signs. Oops, give it a little, there we go. Um, then we're going to take some scaffolding to give us a little coffee table here. Actually, let me use spruce trapdoors instead. So I think that'll look nicer. A little spruce table. Actually, I'd rather it be level. Okay. There we go. And then I can put some stuff on it. Ta da! Something like that. And then. A little like bookshelf back here would be cute, I think. Yeah. Oh shoot. How do I want to do this? I am undecided. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. I can't think of a way to. Oops. No, because it feels too crowded back here. It needs something back here, but not. I think we'll just put like a little bush back here as well. Flower pot. Just put like another one of these back here so it doesn't feel so empty. And then maybe a scaffolding back here. Like that. So we can have a lantern on top. So it's not dark. Boom. That works. And then I want to do a flower pot on here, even though it blocks the view of the TV, but shut up. Boom. And boom. Yeah. That works perfectly. Okay. So far, so good. Wait, I wonder, would this look better if I did this? No, I like it better the other way. Ah, shoot. This is what I get. Okay. Um... Ah, let me in. Okay. My phone's already at half battery. Alrighty, well, that kind of works, I guess. I don't know what I want to do with the rest of this is the problem. Because I know I want to do an enchantment table and like a bedroom and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna get a little lantern. Get a little blowing of the lantern. I love that. I've never noticed that before. 
I want to go, I want to go back a decent amount. I don't, I want to be able to use different walls in here, so I don't want it to have the same walls as these ones, so I should definitely, oops, I need to give myself enough space to be able to do that. Except for these walls. These walls would be the same. It needs to match the aesthetic out here. So for anybody like who's not super into Minecraft, one of the big reasons that I like to add this stuff into the walls is because it helps break up the textures. So like you can see here, like this feels really flat. There's no dimension to it. It's just a straight wall, which looks nice. Like if you're going for like a, a modern simplistic design where you don't want any imperfections, but then if you look at this one, it gives it a lot more depth and makes it feel, makes it feel more used and worn. So I always like to add some of these in with all of my blocks, except for stuff like this, because there's no other variants. But like if I'm making a stone wall, I'll usually add in like some cobblestone, some cracked uh, bricks, and like just just some stuff to break up the the stone because this is really flat and there's no not much texture to it. Hello. I think I think that works. I want to do. I don't know how I want to design these. I'm going to actually, you know, I'm going to take a break from inside for a minute. We're going to come out here for a second and I'm going to take a little look around for a minute because I want to look at some of our options here. I'd like to do, I'd like to do a little like Zen garden thing, but also it needs to be efficient. So I have to think of what this bothers me really bad. I need to figure out what looks good, but still has a, a use, you know? Because, like, I want to make, like, I want my farm to be a part of my garden, so, like, it's more of, like, a naturalistic thing. But at the same time, I need it to have enough crops that it's actually going to sustain what I need it to sustain. Ooh, you know what? The waterfall actually might. I have an idea. Uh, you gotta go. Mr. Tree, you need to go. And you do too. Be gone. These leaves aren't gonna disappear because it's connected to this one. Hang on. Remove you from this. Now it should disappear on its own, I think, unless this is touching anything over here. No, it's not. Okay. So, this gave me a little idea over here. Because I could make a little pond and have this be part of the garden. I go. I'm actually gonna expand out this way. I can do something like Oops. It's not really what I was hoping for. What if I go like I'm gonna remove some of the flowing water. There we go. That's what I wanted.
Flowing water is so weird in this game. Whatever, that's good enough. Uh, I can make like a little pond down here and do some aesthetic stuff with this. Inventory, and then I'm gonna oops, bring some of these flowers and stuff down here as well. I missed a mushroom. Yep. Oops. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oops. <laughs> Get some of this stuff in here. I forgot my lily of the valleys. <laughs> there. I need a cute little pond. I love that, actually. Uh, let me bring this path down even farther. and things. There we go. Too much stuff. Oops. I wanted you. Yes. Okay. Get those freaking saplings out of here, damn it. There. There. That's super cute. I love the little waterfall coming down into the pond. That worked out nice. Uh. Ooh, fish. You're a genius. How did I not even think of that? Ooh, you know what else we need? We need like lily pads and stuff inside of the pond. Let's do some seagrass and stuff. Maybe a couple sea pickles. Let's do... Let's do a couple of lily pads. I want to like condense them into one corner. There we go. Uh, throw some seagrass in everywhere. Add a couple sea pickles or some lighting. I would add coral, but it's just, this is a pond, so I feel like that just doesn't work. Uh, let's see, what kind of fish do we want to put in here? Um, spawn. Actually, what am I doing? There's a whole section for that now. Uh, what do we got? Oxalotls. I don't really want to put my oxalotls in here. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate spot for them. Because currently we have them in a spot in our survival world that's super cute. What kind of fish? Frogs. Uh, tropical fish, you think? I was saying that too. I was just looking to see what else we had. A puffer fish. Salmon. You know, it'd be really cute. Um, frogs. Having frogs around here, but I don't think they would stay. 
add in a couple of fishies. These are all the same color. <laughs> what? There's so many variants of trout. Excuse me! <laughs> Where are you going? Get back in the pond. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, well, they're trying to go upstream, so... <laughs> Where are you guys going? Stop that. Why? 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 Well, now you're dying. We're migrating this way. They're, you guys aren't salmon. Why are you trying to climb up the river? Um. My fish are just killing themselves. Fish. Please. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but the audio is really funny. <laughs> flop, flop, flop. Okay, I might have to come up with a better idea to keep the fish in the pond so they stop doing whatever it is that they're doing. Well. Uh. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a way to keep them in the pond, but I don't I don't know is there a way to keep them in here I could like waterlog some fences then they couldn't get out if I do that I just waterlog the fences I, they can probably still get out of there though here wait let's see if he tries to go up Yes, get back down here. Get back down here. There we go. Because I don't know if they'd be able to just like... Well, maybe not, because... Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll just leave that there. It's not really noticeable, so... Add a couple more fish in. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do that I didn't do? I want to add some clay onto the ground, because just dirt doesn't look good. I need to mix it up a little bit. Are you guys leaving? Okay, I don't think they can leave. I think they actually are stuck in here. Here. Mix up the... Okay. Maybe I'm a liar. Get back in there! Why are you... Why are they trying to... Stop! What if I do this? Oops, I put him in a bucket. That's not what I wanted to do. Stuck. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> My tropical fish keep trying to die. Stop. Stop trying to commit Sudoku. You have so much to live for. Because I think they can just swim right over it, which is the problem. Because I can swim right over it. But I also don't want to... I don't know of any other way to keep them in there. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, I give up. Um... Okay, this is turning out super cute. So... Do I need to add anything else? I mean, you guys, anybody who's watching, feel free to give input. Should I add anything else to the exterior of this? I'm not sure. I'm going to switch back to my Twitch quick. There we go. I don't know if I should be adding anything else to this or if this is good. Obviously, the interior is not finished, but I don't feel like... A cat. You know, I actually, in the survival playthrough, I have a dog and I have a parrot. So I could add them. Uh, wolf spawner. Um, and then I need bones. And seeds. Okay, pupper. Now I have my dog from my survival. And... 
Hey, it even gave me the right color. I gotta get the name tag. I had a... I had a... This guy had a name. Because we had gone into a mine shaft and found a uh, name tag. His name is Spadicey. And he is spicy. Where are you going? Sit your... No, I don't want you on me. Get off. Thank you. Sit. There we go. Now I have my pets from survival in here. Um, I suppose I could start working on the bedroom. Which I don't know what I want to do for that yet. Uh, let's see. How much room does that give me if I want to make the interior a different wall? That much, okay. It's dark in here. I can't see shit, Captain. Give me a lantern. Boom. And we'll just throw you on the floor. Okay. So... What do I want to do for the interior of this? If this is the bedroom... To be honest, the mushroom walls kind of work for the bedroom. Like this brown mushroom wall. I don't hate it. Okay, but that's where it's... I could just do that. Um, let's make it bigger this way. I want to be able to fit like a decent sized bed in here. So I like to make a custom bed when I play. So I want like a big bedroom. This is the master bedroom after all. It needs to be large. So I the walls in. I think I'm going to keep the flooring the same as out there. Oh wait. That's right. I need to... It needs to do this. Is that big enough? No, I need to expand. I want a two by a two size bed, a double bed. I probably won't be able to use the mushrooms in the survival world to do the walls and stuff, at least not right away. But it's fine. We'll do something else, probably like spruce wood or something for temporary until I can get that stuff because is there a crafting recipe for that? Uh, can you make the brown mushrooms? Let's grab a stack of these ones. I'm curious. Can you turn these into no, you can't. I don't think you can make this. I think you have to have a silk touch pickaxe to get it. Which is something I definitely do not have in the survival playthrough. Boom. This, these browns work really nicely together. Sorry, I'm adjusting. That was slipping. These browns look really nice together, actually. And then the ceiling in here. I want a light scene, a lighter color ceiling. Honestly, I might stick with this, if that would be, so that would be this, and then this, and then this. Gotta keep the pattern. That would bug me. It didn't. Let's see how this looks. 
again, going back to what I was saying earlier, I always like to do this stuff in creative before doing it in survival, just in case you decide something looks terrible, so you don't have to redo the entire thing five times. I always like to test out how my blocks work together and the colors work together and the patterns and stuff in creative. How's that? Yeah, actually, that works. Uh, okay. So in the bedroom, I saw a super cute design of somebody making a bed with the mushroom blocks, which I freaking adored. So we're going to do that. Uh, uh, some wool. And then I'm going to use spruce to make the furniture because it'll stand out nicely. Uh, and I want a barrel. Let's start with that. So then they did like this and that was the bed. How are we going to make it actually functional, though, is the question. What if I do... Can I do... Like, that? No. <laughs> no, definitely cannot do that. Uh, how am I going to make something functional? Like, this looks super cute, don't get me wrong. But this is not going to do what I wanted it to do here. I'm just gonna ignore the problem and pretend, pretend it doesn't exist. No, I want. There we go. <sighs> I'm so indecisive for this kind of stuff. See, I don't like the headboard being so... Canopy bed? I had a canopy bed in real life. I love my canopy bed. Wish it was a little bit taller. Can I get away with doing like... Oops. Doing like... This? Does that look okay? Yeah, that works, actually. Works out perfect. Still can't get up there, though. Can I... I'm curious. What happens if I did like that? No, that looks terrible. Uh, how do I do anything? I could do this. I've done this before. I use this to make... And then we go in with like this. Let me take a sign. And then there's your couch. Maybe I'll do that. Honestly, that looks really nice, but can I do a red bed or would it look stupid? Just because of the white in the center, I don't know if that would look dumb. But like, this build's aesthetic is definitely red accents, so... Oh, that works, actually. It's not too bad. Just looks like a red seat cushion. Sure. That works. Could, there's got to be a way for me to like cheat the system here and make a bed in here somewhere. I don't know. I mean, this looks good, too. I just like the aesthetic of the polka dots. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset for anything, I swear. Let's do... I want to... I want to add... Yeah, well, let's just do it like this. this one. A lantern. 
little bedside light sort of thing, and then... Should I do one on both sides? Probably, it's pretty dark in here. There's the bed. Uh, see, I told you I needed a big area for the bedroom, because I like to make a really big bed. This is really cozy. And then I want to do a closet. Like a little wardrobe. Let's grab some spruce doors. Last time I did this, I used something like this. I need trapdoors as well. Okay. Like that. Boop. And then go like that. And then like that. You got yourself a little wardrobe. You guys are getting some building hacks out of this video as well. Um, I kind of wanted to add a desk in here though, and now it won't fit. What if I changed you up a little bit. What if I do? I haven't. I'm gonna get rid of the armor stains. Oh my lord, I'm all over the place. And the door? Jesus. Uh. I like that. Why can I not? There we go. Just like that. And just do like that. Oh, do it. I don't need to have the other stuff. Okay, and then I want a lectern for the desk. Like that. And then I want to do some this kind of stuff. I need some spruce wood. I want to do like a little overhead thing. Damn, I wish I had more space. But that works. Lantern. This doesn't really look like a desk. What if I separate these? Oops. Could do something like that. And then. Go in like this. Now it's a desk. I need... Um, do I want to do... I'll probably do like this design again. Oops. Like that. And then we have a chair. Oh, my ball which is... That's not bad. Clear this because I got a lot of shit in my inventory. Um, I would like to add a painting over here because it looks a little plain on this wall. I can't have that. Actually, let me just. I don't want to have to deal with breaking this shit again. The pool. It's a good one. I don't know what any of this means. Seaside? Good enough. This wall feels really plain over here too, but I don't really want to add a painting to it. Yeah. I think yes. And then for the interior doors, I want to use dark oak instead of spruce. And there's the bedroom. It's super cute. 
I like it. Everything's turning out really good so far. Being able to build this in survival would be a lot easier now that I have come up with some great ideas. Are my fish still in here? They are. My fish did not kill themselves. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I think we should add a little painting here. Another one by one. Do I have any other paintings that are one by one? I don't think so. Yeah. Sure, that one's cute. Let's do that. I don't know what it is, but it works. It almost looks like a plant, so I, I like it. Um... Yeah, I think that is... That's pretty much it. The only thing I had to the only thing I need to do now is add a couple more rooms in. We need an enchantment room. And I want to I don't know if I want to build down. Or how I want to do this, because we're going to need a storage room yet, we're going to need an enchantment room yet. I always like to make a little blacksmithing area as well. And a potions area. And I don't really want to just have this be like a super long hallway that just connects to a bunch of rooms. I don't really like the idea of that. So I'm wondering... Hello, Roman the dog, hello. I'm wondering if we should make like a, a lower area, like a downstairs. Maybe? I don't know. So I mean, I definitely want like this stuff to be upstairs. Like we have the kitchen, we have the living room, we have the bedroom. Like that stuff should all be upstairs. And I could probably squeeze something in over here like I kind of want to make a bathroom because like what I like to do with my Minecraft worlds and builds is I like to make a house that's like realistic to live in in real life so it's like not actually functional in the game as much like obviously you don't need a living room this does not help you in the game whatsoever and you don't need this big bedroom with like a desk and stuff because like the desk does absolutely zero thing for you like this stuff is basically just storage that's pretty much the only practical use it has in game so I and like a bathroom in Minecraft is utterly useless <laughs> so what I like to do is I like to make a separate area of a living space and then like a separate area of like a workspace and usually I do it like upstairs versus downstairs so the upstairs in this space would be the living area where you know it's all aesthetically pleasing and it's all cute and nice to look at and then downstairs is where I'll have the functionality so like the enchantment room will be down there the blacksmithing area will be down there the storage all that important minecraft stuff just because I like the aesthetic of having a cute little room I think I want to build the bathroom in here though and I think I actually might stick with this wall this using this as the wall because I think that would look kind of nice. So I'm going to do the bathroom quick and then I think I agree. I think I should add it downstairs. The downstairs would look- oh shit. Downstairs would look very nice. Oh crap. Actually, uh, do I want to- how do I want to- mm, how do I want to deal with this? Um. I was trying to think of a way I could turn it into a mirror, but there isn't really a way to make a mirror in Minecraft. <laughs> um, let me think. I could always add a painting on top of it, and then it would just be used as a light source, like on, on this side. You think I should just move it? I'm kind of thinking that too. Like I just do this. Shit. For the love. I'll just do this. 
which would work. Actually, that's fine because I want the bathroom to be small anyways. Uh, perfect. Yeah, that should work. And then, since it's a bathroom, I want to do... Uh, I want to have a, the, uh, the shower. I want the shower to have a different block as the wall. Because if you look at... Let me... Hold on. Let me just bring up something really quick. So this isn't the case for all bathrooms, but I'll show you guys this picture on TikTok. If you see where the shower is, it's got a different type of wall around where the shower is. And I really like that look. Like, same with this one. Like, it's a different block. A different block. A different material inside of the shower versus outside. Because obviously, like, usually you have paint on the outside and then, like, tile or something on the inside to keep the water in there. So I want to do something like that. But I'm just trying to think of what would work for in the game. Like what would fit with this? Or should I even do the red mushrooms? Let me look at some blocks quick. Let me see. Uh, let me look up a picture. Let's see. Cottage bathroom. Need to see some pictures of real life to see kind of. Because, like, I don't want, like, a modern thing. I want it to feel like it fits into the aesthetic of the cottage feel. Like, this is- oh, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> um, I like these ones with the stone. I could do bricks. I wonder how deep slate bricks would look, actually. Like these? Oops. as the shower area and like have that like this would be the shower then and then I'm gonna expand this by one more maybe maybe not we'll see let me just see how this would look Because honestly, the sandstone might work better in this case. Because like the the red versus the the deep slate just does not work. So yeah, I think I'm gonna see how cobblestone looks. Maybe even some like mossy cobblestone thrown in there would be cute. Let's grab a few of these. Maybe like add a couple of these in. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna do the ceiling quick. Just so that way I have that to look at. Uh, then this will be this, then this, then this. <laughs> Keeping the ceiling consistent throughout all of the rooms because I want... I just like how this ceiling works. Okay, that does not look good. That does not work. Uh, what if I did something like that? I can't see. Put you over there. Um, oh, I'm so indecisive. What about some? What else do we have for stone variants, like bricks for the flooring? Um, let's see how these would look. I'm sure. Maybe some, like... Oh. 
No, because now I just feel like I'm in a dungeon and I hate it. <laughs> I wish there was some, like, there's no, there's nothing in Minecraft that looks like tiles. Like, which is so stupid. Oops. Just trying to make like a tile effect. That's not too bad. Uh, what would it look like if it was all of this? I don't like that at all. Uh, it's a little better at least. Yeah, maybe I will just do the glass now. I guess we shall see. Should we do stained glass? Uh, like. No, no. Uh, hold on, let me clean my inventory quick. Let me see. Let's just try regular glass for now. And then I was gonna add that, and then a lever. Do a lever or a tripwire hook either would work. I wish I could. Um, I wish I could add some like water particle effects coming down from there. That would be nice. Yeah, I think the tripwire hook would look better. The lever looks a little funny. I have the tripwire hook also for out here as my kitchen sink thing. Yeah, that works. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a big fan. I'm gonna look at some other... Uh... Let me see what we got going on here. Or we could just ditch the idea of a shower and do a tub instead. I feel like that would be more appropriate for a cottage vibe. And I think we're going to go with a cleaner looking wall. I just don't think, as much as I love the red, it just doesn't work. Oops. And do we want to do, yeah, this can stay. Okay, so then if we take, how am I going to do this? Uh, quartz, that's what we need. That's what I need. If I go like this, I can make, no, must be one bigger. You make a little tub. And then I can waterlog these. Ta-da! Now we have a tub. That's super cute. And I can go... I might expand this a little bit. I need some more room to work with here. We're gonna go just a tad bigger. Because making furniture in Minecraft is a pain in the ass. And I need... More space. I do like this flooring though, I think. Oh, that's the wrong. 
Oh, dude, I am losing it right now. What is happening? Uh, is that important? No. There we go. No, that's too big that way. Never mind. It's not gonna work for what I wanna do. We can put that back. Nope. Wow, I am- oh my god, misclicking everywhere. Jesus. I swear to god, I'm not drunk. Here we go. There. And now we have a bathtub. Love it. Um... Maybe I will go actually do something like this. Because, like, a lot of bathrooms have. Bathrooms in real life have stuff like this. This goes back to what I was saying earlier. This is why I always try to do my builds in creative before I do them in survival. Because there's so many things that I constantly change about my builds until I find something that I like finding blocks that work together is a pain in the ass. And then we'll put the toilet here and then like a sink here. I think that would work. So I'm looking at some designs for some like bathroom stuff right now. A looks like um, like this. Oh shit, that's not work. Nope. Like that. And then like that. I have to replace all these blocks. And like that. Yeah. And say that there. Wait. That there. 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 And then put these back. Ta da. And then a button on the side. Like that. That's. That works, I guess. I would like to add. Oh wait, you are gonna go more in the center. That's the center, ish. It's the center of this little area, which is what I was thinking. Um, and then a sink. How the f fuck am I gonna make a sink? There's not enough space. I want more room. Who would have thought this would have been so hard? Let's go one more back. Making furniture in Minecraft is so difficult. It's just not... It's hard to make everything fit. The way you want it to. Uh, Alright, one more time. Uh, that. And then... Like that. Like that. And then... Like that. Here we go. That works. I think I might add a thing in here. I haven't decided yet. And... I still want to add something here that changes the wall so that way it's not the same i suppose i could do like a clean look around the rest of the bathroom and then do this that would work That works. Let's do that. I need a door here as well. Okay. Sink. I don't want to make a sink. Um, 
Let's let somebody do this and then like that. I suppose I could push this toilet into the corner. That wouldn't be the end of the world. That's almost as big as the tub. That sink is almost as big as the tub is. I don't like that. Uh, let me look at some pictures. I need some fucking videos here, because I don't know. Or I could expand. Um... Yeah. Let's expand you out by one. bigger tub. Like so. And then let's move you over. This is just a video of you guys watching how fucking indecisive I actually am. Because it's ridiculous. Oops. Put that on the wall there. Do this again. Sink. And I could even do like a little. Uh, a little thing in the corner here. Let's see. Quartz. Uh, I need some slabs. Do like a little shelf thing. You could add like a flower pot onto it. There we go. I'll add something to that later. I need a tripwire hook. For there. For the sink. And then. People used banners to make things of like mirrors, but I am not that good with banners. I don't think I could do that. Somebody else used ice, which is kind of genius. They use see through eyes? I don't think they heard. No. No, that doesn't work. Forget that. I'm gonna grab a lily of the valley for in here. Boop. I wonder, can I even do... What would happen if I put it over here? Ah, almost. Thought it would be worth a shot. Oh, shut. Uh, I need to finish this. There and there. Hello. Um... I f <laughs> what the heck? There we go. Okay. If I put... Uh, I don't know. This wall is just really plain here. I don't like that. I wish there was something I could add to it, but I don't know. I'm looking at some pictures right now, and I don't see any ideas. Besides banners, and again, I I don't know how to use banners, so that's not going to happen. I could add- wait, what kind of buttons do we have? I can make something look like a little bar, so- A birch button? God damn it. Uh, no, I wanted to, can I not, okay, yep. never mind, I thought I could put buttons on here, and I cannot. Somebody put sea pickles, that's cute, on the edge as like little candles, or I could just put candles. <laughs> that would, that would work, uh, let's just do candles. 
Can I really not? You can put sea pickles, but you can't put candles. That's so mean. What the heck? Oops. I'm trying to figure out where it works the best. Hmm. The answer is nowhere. Why does it always go over for all of them? Can I like... That's a little better. Yes, I guess. Again, this wall really needs something, but I I don't know. It's not not something. I can't do the banners. I cannot brain enough to do banners. Well, I think that is good for that. All right, what do we got? Let's take a little review here. My fish are still here. They just chilling. Love that. So we got our fish, little pond. The outside looks nice. I want to add something along here, but I don't know what yet. We come in. We got a nice little kitchen. Little living room. And then we have our bedroom. And our bathroom. Yeah. I think that's perfect. And then, eventually, I'm going to figure out how to do a downstairs, and that's where I'm going to do the storage and... Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. The uh, potion room in the... Um... Jesus, blacksmith. Good lord. My brain is not braining today. Okay, well, I think I'm going to take a break from Minecraft because I don't want to overwhelm myself. I've been doing this for a while. I also need to get some schoolwork done before my boyfriend gets home. So I think I'm going to go do that. I didn't get to answer a whole lot of questions because not very many people ask questions and I didn't, uh... I was too focused on what I was doing to be able to <laughs> answer questions. <laughs> But yeah, um, for anybody watching on TikTok, please feel free to come join us on Twitch. The link is in my bio on my TikTok page. Otherwise, you can just search us. It's the same as my TikTok name, which is Service Bear Mabel. Um, feel free to come join us on there. I am trying to become more active on it, and I would really like to interact with most of you guys through uh, Twitch rather than TikTok just because it's easier and you'll get to see a lot more and I like doing lives it's fun and also follow us on YouTube because I'm gonna start doing some um playthroughs more I want to do like a let's play of Minecraft and Sims and like just a bunch of random stuff so so yeah thank you guys everybody for joining me today feel free to go check out our other socials bye